The Fuso class battleships were dreadnought battleships built for the Imperial Japanese Navy during World War I. It consisted of two ships, their names being Fuso and Yamashiro. These two battleships would be the oldest battleships in the Japanese Navy during World War II. The design of these battleships was part of the ongoing naval arms race as Japan knew their most likely enemy would be the United States, so they would be an important part of the main battle fleet. They would be planned to fight in the Kenta Kessen, the decisive battle, where destroyers and cruisers would attack and sink a good amount of American ships, while the main battle would be fought by battleships and battle cruisers. The Fuso class was made to operate with the Congo class. To outmatch the American New York class, the ships would have more turrets armed with 14-inch main guns. Fuso was laid down at the Korean Naval Arsenal on March 1912, launched in March 1914 and commissioned in November 1915. Yamashiro was laid down at the Yokosuka Naval Arsenal in November 1913, launched in 1915 and commissioned in 1917. Standard displacement would be just under 29,800 tons. Overall length was at 665 feet or 202.7 meters. Beam was at 94 feet 2 inches or 28.7 meters and draft was at 28 feet 7 inches or 8.7 meters. 24 water tube boilers generated 40,000 shaft horsepower. Four shafts connected to two geared steam turbine sets gave the ships the speed of 23 knots. Armament consisted of six twin 14 inch guns, the same guns as the Congo class used, 16 single 6 inch guns in casemates, and 5 single 3 inch guns on the main deck used as anti aircraft guns. Six single 21 inch torpedo tubes would be placed on the ship. Waterline belt armor thickness was from 4 to 12 inches. Deck was at 2 inches thick. Gun turrets were at 11 inches in thickness, barbettes at 12 inches, conning tower at 13.8 and bulkheads from 4 to 12 inches. Modernizations in the 1930s improved the ship with the addition of the pagoda mast, 5 inch dual purpose guns and 25mm anti-aircraft guns, torpedo bulges and fire control directors. The stern was also lengthened by 25 feet or 7.62 meters. The displacement grew to 35,300 tons. Yamashiro launched Gloucester Sparehawks and topped with camels from the second turret roof which had a small flying off platform on it. This was later removed as a catapult would be fitted on the stern, which was made for float planes. The Fuso class didn't participate in any major battles during World War I, as the ships of the Central Powers operated mostly in the Atlantic and in the Mediterranean. Fuso was the flagship of the 1st Division during the Great War and patrolled off the coast of China during that time. Both aided survivors of the 1923 Great Kanto earthquake, which occurred in September of that year. The two ships would operate mostly in the Chinese waters up to 1939. Yamashiro would become the flagship of the Combined Fleet in 1935 and the ship would experimentally launch radio-controlled Kawanishi E-7 K-2 float planes. In April and May 1941, the two Fusos attached to the 2nd Division of the 1st Fleet, but they stayed mostly around Japan. The Fusos were pursued but did not catch the American carriers after the Doodle Raid in 1942. They would take part in the Aleutian support group in the end of May, just around the time of the Battle of Midway that occurred on June 4th. Afterwards, Yamashiro returned home and stayed there until August 1943, and on the next month, she became a training ship for the midshipmen. Fuso would also conduct training exercises from November 1942 to January 1943. On June 8th, 1943, the ship would rescue 353 survivors from the battleship Mutsu, which exploded at Hasirajima. At the start of 1944, Fuso transferred to the East Indies, where she would be closer to the oil fields. In July, Fuso returned to Japan for a refit and both would sail to the East Indies in October. On October 22nd, both participated in the Battle of Leyte Gulf. They would be main ships of the Southern Force. As they approached the southern end of Surigao Strait on the 24th, they would be attacked by carrier aircraft from Rainer Price, and one bomb landed on Fuso near the number 2 turret and killed everyone in the number 1 secondary battery. Strafing runs were made by fighters and around 20 sailors died. In the late hours of October 24th, they would be attacked by PT boats, followed by destroyers. Two torpedoes from the destroyer Melvin hit Fuso amidships on the starboard side at 3.09 on the 25th. She listed the starboard and slowed down and fell out of formation. Some eyewitnesses later claimed that Fuso broke in half and that both halves remained afloat and burning for an hour before sinking. Only 10 sailors survived. About 10 minutes after Fuso, two torpedoes hit Yamashiro on the port side. Magazines were flooded and the ship continued north. At about 3.50, she would be attacked by the American battle line, and despite the battleship returning fire, Yamashiro received multiple hits from 6 and 8 inch gun armed cruisers and then 14 and 16 inch shells from American battleships. Two to four torpedoes hit Yamashiro at around 420, and the order to abandon the ship was given, but only 10 crew members survived. 